All right, y'all, Paul, one in the sandwich series. We had the crawfish grilled cheese, then we had the BLT, and now we coming with a soft shell crab po' boy. I'm telling y'all, it's pressure. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to understand is what a soft shell crab is. All of this is a blue crab that has matured and outgrown its shell. With the regular blue crabs, I always recommend that you eat them fresh, but when it comes to soft shell crabs, they only go through this molting process once a year around May, so it's really hard to find them if you don't get them during that time of the year. And in my opinion, they freeze well, so you can get soft shell crabs at your seafood lot probably frozen if it's not around that time. Now to defrost them, all you got to do is put them in the refrigerator the night before you want to use them and they'll be good to go by the morning time. Or you could just rest them in room temperature water and they'll defrost fairly quickly. And these are very delicate, so you want to be careful with them to make sure that the legs and everything don't fall off. Usually when you buy these, they'll come already clean where they have taken the face off, taken the apron off and removed the gills. Just ask if they're already cleaned. If they are, you can go straight to cooking them just like this. If not, I'm going to show you all how simple it is to clean it yourself. Again, you want to be very delicate with this. The first thing we want to do is remove the eyes and face. All you have to do is get a pair of kitchen shears and it should cut straight through it because the shell is so soft. From there, we'll flip it over to the back side and remove the apron off the back. You can pull it off or you can use your kitchen shears to cut it off as well. Now the final step to remove would be the gills. The gills are basically the lungs of the crab and it helps them breathe in and out of water. We call this part the dead man because it resembles a dead man's fingers, but it also has a terrible texture and a terrible taste. So just remove all that. Once it's removed, all you gotta do is fold the shell back over and you're good to go from there. Now you can cook them how you want, grill them, bake them, but today we are gonna fry them. They'll sell you these based on size. This middle one is $6, then $8, then the biggest one in the front is $12. I only bought one of each just to show y'all the difference, but there really is no difference. I'd rather get two $6 than one $12. Now our marinade is gonna be quite simple. We're gonna start off about a cup and a half to two cups of buttermilk. From there, we'll come with our favorite hot sauce. I'm going to say about two tablespoons of this and then a splash of your favorite crab boil seasoning. I know a lot of people like to use Old Bay. I just don't like the flavor of Old Bay. I'll give it your mom. It's just my preference and it's still good. For some reason, people believe you can only eat blue crabs with certain things and that's not true. You eat anything in this world to your liking. We're just going to go ahead and place our clean crabs into our buttermilk like so. You want to always be gentle with these because the soft shells could fall apart easily. So I'm going to soak that in there for about 30 minutes and then we'll batter it up and get it into the deep fryer. Now while our crabs are marinating, what we're going to do is get our batter together. Right here I have a cup of all-purpose flour. To that, you want to add half a cup of yellow cornmeal. And then I have three tablespoons of cornstarch. This will help it get crunchy. And then we season. Paprika. Again, this is about a teaspoon of each one of these granulated garlic granulated onion ground mustard italian seasoning white pepper you can use black pepper if you want and then salt to taste but instead of salt i'm going to use some more of this crab boil seasoning give that a good mixing <laughs> As I always say, remember, if you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. Now, you could dip your crab straight into this from your buttermilk, but we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take a half a cup of our buttermilk marinade along with a half a cup of that seasoned flour to make a wet batter. This will help that batter really stick to those crabs. If it's too thick, you can add some more buttermilk. If it's too thin, you can add some more flour. We want it to kind of be a little bit thinner than what you would have with pancake batter or crab into the dry batter get it nice and coated making sure you get all the crevices and again you could go straight in and fry it just like this but we want a nice crunchy exterior to go on our sandwich so once we dip it in here we'll shake off the excess and then bring in our wet batter i could have used a bigger bowl but Oh well. Now we have that wet batter on it. We're going to let that drip off. Take it out of there and then come back with our dry batter. Give it a good shaking. It should be well coated each little piece. 
Now we'll go ahead and put this to the side and get the rest of them battered up. I'm not gonna lie to y'all and tell y'all I got this temperature to 350. Over here, we just use a wooden spoon. If it starts bubbling, we know it's hot enough to start frying. So there we go. Use a thermometer to be more accurate, but this works for me. I fry mine one at a time just to make sure they don't overcrowd and I like to separate the legs so they don't stick together. And they don't take no time to cook. Three, three and a half minutes, you'll be good to go. This sandwich is real special to me. Back when I was a kid, my mom and my grandma, we'd go to Jazz Fest every year and we'd always get a soft shell crab po' boy. Just look at that. <laughs> yes, Lord. It used to be like $8 for a po' boy, but nowadays it's probably like $20 for one of them. So make it at home. And I'm a firm believer that Louisiana has the best sandwiches in all of the nation. I know Philly gonna say they had a Philly cheesesteak. That's good and all, I really do like that. But nothing beats a down south po' boy. We literally throw anything on a po' boy. But today we'll be making our soft shell crab po' boy. Now I'm gonna start off with this fresh French bread that they made this morning. I don't like the end piece in my sandwich, so we're gonna go ahead and make it with the middle. Even the bread is pressure, look at that. Soft middle firm top I'm gonna make for a beautiful sandwich we're gonna just slice it on open you could hollow out your bread but we're gonna keep everything as is add a little butter on there then we're gonna hit it with some granulated garlic the poor man's garlic bread and of course we got to finish it off with some dry parsley to make everything healthy now we're gonna take this bread and throw it on the griddle let it get nice and toasty and put our sandwich together Of course, with this sandwich, you're gonna need some type of sauce. A ramelade works perfect, or you can use the Creoles that we made in part two when I made the BLT. Y'all make sure to check that out. It works great on this type of sandwich, or any sandwich. So we're gonna start off by putting our Creoles on both sides, spread it out. You can add a lot of this because it's, it's just gonna add so much flavor to the sandwich. Now we're gonna get a nice bed of lettuce to rest this beautiful, crispy, soft shell crab right on top. This is heavenly. And now we're just gonna finish it off with a couple thin, thin sliced tomatoes with a little bit of crab oil seasoning on top. And I promise y'all, this will be a hit every single time. Now we're gonna go ahead and try it. I'm gonna break off this cloth first and eat that by itself. It's spicy, it's crunchy. You can taste that crab meat. That's pressure. Now we get messy. Oh my God. There's the perfect spice, saltiness, crunchiness, freshness from the lettuce and tomatoes. I'm telling y'all, that sauce goes good on everything. Y'all make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those push notifications. And just like my name, you're all done. I need another bite of this.